what is going on with this Lion King trailer? It has a quarter million downvotes. I can't believe it's even a thing because the other Lion King, the live action thing they did, I didn't watch it, but just the trailers and stuff alone, seeing people do the repaints over some of the, the stills of it and how so much of the emotion is lost when you have yeah. the animated feature which had the characters and their expressions and all of that that was portrayed so well but then in the live action it's just you, you see Simba looking at a stampede like dead stare like i'm an animal i don't know what exactly is going on okay i guess i'm gonna run it's <laughs> yeah right 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 you lose the heart of it so much when the characters just don't have the same emotion i feel like so many things are plagued with this realism stuff video games art styles in general we're not seeing as much appreciation for unique fun art styles like we used to and i am so bored of everything being about realism and all of these live action disney stuff i haven't seen a single modern one the only live action disney thing i've seen that i can think of off the top of my head was like that old hook movie from like the 90s but yeah, i saw that i think everyone but that's different that burton too i think like i think that was i are you talking about hook that yeah just hook i think it was yeah. called it's been so long since i've seen it but in terms of like anything from was it beauty and the beast that was the first recent that one was one, one of the first ones and it was pretty successful right i never watched any from that time onward because i've just had zero interest in it um but there's just no appeal to me with all of this stuff i would much rather just watch the animated features yeah i i don't really care about live action i mean i will admit that i think I'm pretty sure the first Lion King made like a billion dollars. Did it? And yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, wow. Um, it did very, very good. Um, so I know sure that Beauty and the Beast that. did too. Um, the 2019 Lion King box office. Um, I mean, in 29, I think it was. I mean, it was hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars that it made. Lion King leaves huge profit as number three on Deadline's 2019 most valuable blockbusters. Um, maybe it was 600 million, but it was not nothing. I mean, it made money. And I know Beauty right. and the Beast did, did pretty well. Now everything is basically tanking. So I don't know. I don't know if, like, um, you know, like why this got so many dislikes. I know that there's some level of like lore that they don't like like they're, oh, they're re okay. rewriting some sort of parts of the movie but like i mean is it because yeah because i don't know anything about that like some extensive mufasa laura or anything right like some that. like deep laura mufasa <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i mean i like mufasa he's a boss but when i'm thinking of, yeah. of something else another feature in this lion king live action saga I would have imagined that they would have done the the whatever they did with the sequel, the animated one, which I didn't even I don't even think I watched that one, but it wasn't that um or I may have seen pieces of it. It's like Scar's son. Yeah, yeah. And all of that. So I would have thought they would have went with that, but instead just some Mufasa origin story prequel. Yeah, I, I don't know. They they did that and like I I don't know. I don't know why everyone's hating it. Oh, I was so at he's telling the story. He's telling... Okay, Rafiki is telling Simba and Nala's uh, baby. They're telling her the story, the legend of M Mufasa. Oh, okay, uh, okay, that's, okay. Okay, instead of just giving us... I don't... Yeah, maybe they're trying to set it up for that Scars Kid sequel, because didn't he... Get there was something I, yeah there was something like that it's complicated <laughs> by the way based on the prior movie budget mufasa is likely to have at least a 250 million dollar production budget but most uh say it is beyond 300 million oh. given the inflationary period plus if you look at everyone that is in this movie i mean these people aren't cheap um you know you got beyonce you got um mm. 
Seth Rogen, obviously, got to have oh, Seth Rogen. I am so sick of him uh, uh, ruining we, everything. Yeah. Ruined the Mario Brothers movie for me. Oh, that was so immersion breaking with him in the in the in that movie. Like yeah. the second he spoke, I was like, "Oh, it's uh, it's Seth Rogen." He just didn't even do Donkey Kong well at all because all I was a fan of the the old 3D animated Donkey Kong. Yeah thing that they had back when like donkey kong country came out and they had all mm -hmm. of that and so that just completely broke the immersion for me to have i would have rather them use that the old the old voice actor for that i think it would have been perfect but it's they just weren't talking the same the characters none of the the donkey kong people were really given the right vibes yeah. to me <laughs> none of, yeah and they were it was just weird Everything Seth Rogen's ever in, like he, I mean, look, you can be like Ryan Reynolds plays Ryan Reynolds in every movie he's ever right. in. Right. Um, but you know, at the same time, if for some for some reason it's not as grating. With Seth Rogen, it's like you took a check to do voice work. Like, for example, Chris Pratt and his yeah. Mario voice. Like, I thought it was fine. Um, I don't think I didn't think it was like the best Mario I'd ever heard, but it definitely didn't yeah. just sound like Chris Pratt just mm -hmm. mailing it in and cashing a check. Um, and then the second Donkey Kong st talked, I was like, oh, it's Seth Rogen. I forgot. <laughs> I'm watching a, you know, I'm watching a, 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 uh, a movie. I'm suddenly very aware that I'm watching a movie and mm -hmm. uh, I no longer am immersed in everything that's going on. I thought there would be some big controversy. I don't know if there are like, you know, the, do the audience backlash seems to have been an audience reaction to the, assessment that the movie is a lazy retcon um, wait they're saying i'm gay now is wait is mufasa gay now or no <laughs> that's just that's just yellow flash in the thumbnail. That's okay <laughs> yeah i got nothing to say mine are you mine are usually pretty pretty out there too but i like, know i can't talk about them but i do the same thing so i'm yeah. like props right. <laughs> it made me want to click so that, that was a good thumbnail yellow flash <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know that like you know so having mufasa be a non-royal who works his way into a monarchy is par for the course for modern disney i don't think anybody is disliking that trailer because they're like you said in on that deep Lion King lore. <laughs> yeah. I, people are just disliking it because it's a live action remake and everyone's just tired of the same, like, you know, I bet you if we went back to the live, uh, let's see if I do, what was the last one in the, yeah, here's the oh, official five years 76 ago. million views. Yeah. And it had 40, it still had 45,000 downvotes. But uh, 785,000 upvotes. So, yeah, yeah. A lot of people were into uh, it. Um, this one's got 109,000 upvotes, oh, three yeah. times as many downvotes. They disabled the comments, which they weren't disabled uh, yesterday. They are definitely Ooh. disabled today. I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't care because I just, yeah, part no of the, like, yeah, like part of the apathy that's kicked in now is unfortunate because. There's a lot of like funny business going on in modern media that mm -hmm. like I can't even bring myself to cover because I just don't care. Like That's it's like, true, yeah. like yeah, if I'm really talking about Tomb Raider or something, even with the Stellar Blade stuff, I really was I cared about that stuff. But yeah. some of these things like this, I have no desire to even cover this because I just don't care enough. It would be a chore to even yeah. to even dedicate a whole to remake whole dedicated videos to this um now slow news day maybe but <laughs> yeah. but yeah it, it definitely wouldn't be a passionate topic for me i will say though one thing that that this is doing with that the high budgets and stuff like that that i'm so frustrated with with movies and with video games is the excessive bloated budgets that are unnecessary nobody freaking cares um mm -hmm. And it's just holding stuff like this back because even though the first one might have, you know, done well with their market, their sales, all that kind of stuff, we're already seeing people aren't that interested in this. I think the excessive hundreds of millions of dollars of budgets and hiring Beyonce and this and that, it is so not needed. What we've already seen with Godzilla minus one is a smaller production um, and a way lower budget. People loved it. It did great. The effects looked fantastic. So it's not like there's this insane quality difference even. Yeah. 
Marvel and Disney have been so cheap with their effects with a lot of their stuff lately. It it's looks like, cheap, but the the sad part about it is like it looks cheap, but it isn't. It's like hella expensive. Yeah. Um, you're spending all this money on CGI and it ends up looking like trash anyway.